Ah, you thought. You thought today's video was gonna start with a B-roll segment in Philadelphia. No, this is Deoxys speed form, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna go ahead and jump right in. We got six in the uh, raid lobby, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cross off my uh, my team here. So I haven't changed my my Deoxys team from my Cresselli team, so I'm still rocking Mewtwo with Shadow Ball, um, Gengar, Lake Shadow Ball, Honch Crow's been pretty good, Scizor, and two Tyranitars. Um, Honch Crow deals the most damage, even though I don't really have it powered up too well. Um, it could use some more Stardust gains. Also, we have my weekly field research, which have gone through a change. So, recently, you're gonna have Latios and Latias and Kyogre and Groudon in the research. But, without further ado, let's get into it. He did. All right, so we are going into Deoxys speed form. So this is the final form for the Deoxys in the EX rate system. So after this, we are done with uh, Deoxys. And now we can await Arceus, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be the next um, EX rate Pokemon. But it's gonna be interesting to see what Niantic does with Arceus. But uh, we get six in on this Deoxys rate. My, my game glitched. So for whatever reason, um, I'm, this is the second group. I was in the first one, but um, yeah, for some reason I, I glitched out, whatever, no big deal. And my Deoxys has, I think, believe have like six or seven each of every Deoxys, so let me know how many Deoxys you guys obtained while Deoxys is in the EX raid system, so um, this, I have one of each, so this will be one of the last ones I get. I'll, I guess selected for another EX raid next week on the 9th due to the Raikou Day, all the raids we did during Raikou Day with uh, St. Nick and the Philly crew. Uh, that was a fun video. So I have another Deoxys raid. It's right near Temple University, so I, I thought nobody would show up, but if it's near Temple University, people are gonna show up regardless. So I'm not really too worried about participation or numbers, or just people in general be able to do the raid. And um, as we talked about before, Deoxys speed form being one of the more balanced of the four. Um, pretty good defense stat. I'll, along with the attack stat being solid, along with the um, stamina stat being solid. Not as good as regular Deoxys, that's still gonna be the best one. However, Deoxys speed form is not too shabby. There was also a conversation, I believe Trainer Tips brought this up a few years ago. He was questioning whether Deoxys was gonna be utilized in its speed form in the EX race system because um, obviously there is no speed stat in Pokemon Go. But um, fortunately, we still have Deoxys and we can go ahead and get all four forms. So this is the last of Deoxys, as I said, and my camera battery, I thought it was gonna die, but it's hanging in there, which is some good stuff. And Deoxys is no way, no how, gonna get through my bulky Tyranitars, nearly maxed out. Actually, both of these are maxed out. One of them's 100%, the other one's like a 98. And we've got speed form Deoxys down. What's our CP? 1613. Seven Golden Rats to revive six rare candies. I'll take that. Thousand Dust. Catch Deoxys. 1613 is our CP. Alright, that one put up a fight for sure, but we got it down. And that is Deoxys Speed Form. Let's check IVs. Wonder HP, certainly impressed. Not too bad, not too bad. And uh, let's finish this off by going into my research. And I'm gonna claim 200 dust. And Professor Willow's gonna have a word with me. All right, so as I said previously, so from July 1st and onward, you're gonna have Latios and Latias, Kyogre and Groudon in the research. So we're gonna claim our rewards, 2,000 dust. A Sinnoh Stone, that's awesome. We're looking good so far. Give me a shiny Latios. It's a Groudon. Research Groudon down. Let's get to the video. One here back again with another presentation 
11 days in July, we're doing our first video of the month. Hopefully everybody had a wonderful fourth, and my fourth was good, glad to be back at it. I had some family things going on, my family needed assistance, so I had to take a little bit of a break, but you know, we are back at it, and the time that I was playing the game, I wasn't able to play much, but the time that I did play was pretty eventful. We'll get to that later on. We got another loaded, loaded show. We got the debut of Armored Mewtwo coming up later on. Also, every single thing that we know about Shadow Pokemon in Pokemon Go and with Team Rocket, we're gonna talk about that. It's coming up in the news. And uh, should be another awesome, awesome upload. So uh, let's uh, find some raids and let's do what we do. Kicking off today's action with Groudon. Now I want to point out this glitch, and there's been a couple of glitches in this latest update, so let me know if you've seen them, but as you can see, um, the display for the gym name is right in the middle of the raid. Everything that is supposed to disperse and then I'm supposed to see the, you know, the raid window, um, it's all here for whatever reason. I don't know what's going on here, but hopefully Niantic um, can fix this. Um, if anybody from the Antic is watching this, you, you clearly see what's going on with your game here. Um, you know, with every update, there seems to be a glitch in Pokemon Go, and this seems to be no different. So, you know, hopefully Niantic can fix that, and uh, you know, we can move on from this. But as you can clearly see, in the background, of the, you can still see what's going on. You know, right on, it's down, but you see the Rittenhouse Moonlight Fountain. The name of the gym is in the background. That's not supposed to be there and a bunch of other buttons that just aren't supposed to be there. But it doesn't affect the rain, which is the most important thing. So with that being said, let's take a look at our CP. I missed it. Three Golden Raz, six Bird Candies, I need that. Three Charged TMs, what the hell? Woo! All right, so we got 17 balls from this raid. It's still in the background. I, is this intended? I wonder if this is intended. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not, because it's a glitch, because there's there's buttons on top of each other. It's clearly a glitch, and um, you're seeing this firsthand, so hopefully Natsik will fix this. I'm pretty sure other PokeTubers have brought this to light as well. Are we gonna get a one hit? Ooh, almost a one shot on the Groudon. See how long it takes to capture this. Yeah. Also, it is pretty hot. Not humid, but, you know, hot today but the absence of humidity makes things bearable in terms of weather. But, you know, we're in the dog days, almost in the dog days of summer, right in the middle of the summer, so. Looks like, ooh, crit! Wasn't looking, but got the crit on the uh, Groudon. Very good. Certainly caught my attention. Defense, uh, not great, but uh, pretty good stuff, so. Hopefully, Niantic will fix this, and there's a couple other things that I have an issue with. So, first of all, the glitch is still here. Hold on. It's still glitched. Look at that. The raid's over, and it's still glitched. Alright, so as I said earlier in the video, um, I was dealing with a lot of family stuff, so I didn't have a lot of opportunities to play Pokemon Go within the past two weeks. But, when I was playing, things were pretty eventful. And let me just show you what happened. So, if you're following me on Twitter or social media, you'll know about this, but I got two shiny Zigzagoon just totally, totally out of nowhere. On um, the first occasion, I was walking out of the supermarket. As you know, there's a lot of supermarket spawns. You get a lot of, the, like, you get a lot of, like, thick, good cluster spawns in supermarkets and in apartments and stuff like that. So, playing Pokemon Go while you're shopping is ideal. So as I was playing, I was walking outside of the supermarket, I was walking to my car, and I got my first shiny Zigzagoon. Super low CP, but I was happy nonetheless to have it, as that was my first. And then, a couple days later, not even a couple days later, the, the day after, the day after, this was a couple days ago, I got my second shiny Zigzagoon. I was literally sitting down at my house, and I was sitting on the couch, tapped on it, second shiny. This one is 219 CP. So, just for metrics, and, and I'll get to the other thing that you're probably gonna see if you like, do you didn't mention that later. Um, so that's the first one. 
the 18 CP, and then literally almost right after we got the 219 CP, and you can see the video footage of both of those encounters. Also, also this this one was pretty interesting. I did my special trade, my lucky trade, with my friend St. Nick of Philadelphia. And we were talking and we were trying to figure out what we wanted to trade. And we decided that we wanted to trade legendary. So I said, I don't have shiny Latios or Latios. I missed those when I was out. So he had a spare shiny Latios and I was willing to give him my shiny Raikou. So this is what happened with our special trade. So I was willing to trade him a another shiny Raikou from Raikou Day because he wanted a lucky shiny Raikou. At first we were going to swap shiny Raikous, but apparently he already gave away a couple of his Raikou. So it ended up being shiny Raikou for shiny Latios, my first ever shiny Latios, and it ended up being a 98% lucky shiny Latios. How freaking cool is that? Like, I was just floored. I was floored with just the amount of fortune that came my way that day. And a lot of fun, a lot of good stuff. And that this is my first ever career shiny Latios and it's a 98 lucky. It was a 15, 15, 14. So best you can get when it comes to a 98%. So I've had a really, really good streak of luck. So over the past two weeks, I got two shiny Zigzagoons and my first shiny Latios, which is a lucky eight. She's, I guess a lucky 98. Yeah, lucky 98 shiny. So, that's how I've been doing the past couple of weeks. Let's go with the news. Could be devastating. This armored Mewtwo, with the movesets that it has, I think it has a lot of potential. I really like Iron Tail Dynamic Punch for armored Mewtwo. I think that's going to be the moveset that I'm going to run most often. If I do get a really good armored Mewtwo, which I'm going to try to do as many armored Mewtwo raids as possible. Last time Mewtwo was in raids, you know, during that October where it was a level 5 raid boss, I got a 98 Mewtwo with Ice Beam, and I kept it with Ice Beam. So, I haven't powered it up, but I still have that 98 Mewtwo with Ice Beam um, utilized. So, it could be pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what's going to happen with this armored Mewtwo. If anything gets different, you know, Niantic can sometimes swerve us and give us something totally out of the box. So, I like, I like the fact that we're getting an Armored Mewtwo. Of course, the Armored Mewtwo is in correlation with the new Japanese film that's coming out. It's a brand new Japanese Pokemon film based on, I think it's based on the Pokemon the first movie. Whoa, excuse me, almost fell. Uh, I think it's based on Pokemon the first movie, but I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's based off of. So, those of you in Japan have more information about the film than I do, I believe. So, if I'm wrong, just please correct me. Moving on, PvP always seems to be in a constant state of flux, and as a result, we're going to get new attacks and a training battle update. So Alolan Raichu is going to learn Grass Knot, Vileplume is going to learn Sludge Bomb, Hypno is going to learn Ice, Fire, and Thunder Punch. That could be huge. Electro is going to learn Foul Play, Aerodactyl is going to learn Rock Throw, um, Articuno is going to learn Ice Shard and Ancient Power, Zapdos is going to learn Drill Peck and Ancient Power, and Moltres is going to learn Wing Attack and Ancient Power, so that could be huge. Um, a huge upgrade to Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. So the Legendary Birds are coming up big once again, as they always do. Sceptile is going to learn Dragon Claw. Aggron is going to learn the move Smackdown. That is, that's huge, I think. I think that's huge. <laughs> um, Claydol is going to learn the move Mud Slap. Bronzong is going to learn Bulldoze and Psyshock. Electrovire is going to learn Ice Punch, so that's that's potentially a big deal. Um, Charm, which is a move that lowers attack, is going to be learned by Alolan, excuse me, learned by Raichu, Clefairy, Wigglytuff, Wobbuffet. Um, Donphan, it's interesting, that makes it, with the combination of Charm and Play Rough, that makes Donphan a double fairy moveset. Um, Gramble, Gardevoir, Delicati, Latias and Togekiss and Galilee, they're all going to learn move Charm, which lowers attack in trainer battles. Skullbash, which is really cool, increases the defense stat of the user 100% of the time in trainer battles. And Raichu, Blastoise, Lapras, Snorlax, and Rhyferior are going to learn that move. And as far as trainer battles are concerned, the update is going to be switching Pokemon briefly to a pause the battle, and charge attack gameplay is going to be updated. So, the PvP scene looks to be in a constant state of flux and this graphic is a great indication of the changes that are coming to PvP. 
All right, fellow trainers, buckle up, because we are about to go into everything that we may know about Shadow Pokemon, and it is a lot. So, we have a couple of key words that we can draw back to. Invasions, Shadow Pokemon, Purification, Pokemon Alignments. We got the new moves, Frustration Return, and Synchronize. Two new badges for number of Pokemon Purified and Team Rocket Grunts Defeated. And new quest types, so Battling Team Rocket and Purify Pokemon quests. So we have quest to Battle Team Rocket and quest to Purify Pokemon. And here is the Pokemon that can be Shadow Pokemon. Vertata, Raticate, Zubat, Golbat, Bulbasaur, Ivasaur, Venusaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Squirtle, War Turtle, Blastoise, Rotini, Dragonite, Dragonite, Snorlax, Crobat, and here's the kicker. Here's why I think we're gonna get this feature by Community Day. Mudkip, Marshtomp, and Swampert can be Shadow Pokemon. So that could make the debut. So Shadow Pokemon could debut on Mudkip Community Day. Don't quote me, but that is my suspicion. Now, Shadow Pokemon feature a new property called Alignment, which hasn't been included in the XD series, which is similar to gender and form. Alignment can be shadow or purified, so there's going to kind of be a fine line between the two. And there's a badge along with it. So to purify a Shadow Pokemon, you're going to need to spend Candy and Stardust, and their two items are multiplied values of an existing cost value on that Pokemon, which obviously has to do with its level, so I'm guessing the higher the level of the Pokemon, the more Stardust and Candy is going to take to purify. It's pretty cool. There's a minimum level for participating in invasions, and you have to have free space in the Pokemon storage, and invasions have a timer, and invasions can expire. So there is going to be a Pokemon encounter at the end of the invasion, so much, I think it's going to be like a quest, and at the end of the quest or the mission, um, you can encounter a Pokemon as your reward, and it may be a Shadow Pokemon at the end of the invasion, and you're going to have to battle Team Rocket Grunts. So different types of Team Rocket Grunts are going to feature different types. So there could be a Fire-type Team Rocket Grunt, um, a Water-type Team Rocket Grunt, a uh, Grass-type, and you're going to have to battle and defeat the Team Rocket Grunts to, you know, win the invasion and then to purify the Pokemon at a later time. Now what I really like about this is the possibility of having Shadow Pokemon. Because Shadow Pokemon, they're going to have their own values, their own movesets, and their own CP level. So it's basically capturing an entirely new species of Pokemon. And you have to take that new species of Pokemon, you can do what you want with it, but you can purify it, and maybe if you purify it, that makes it an even better Pokemon down the line. But as just to recap, we have Team Rocket Grunts that we have to defeat. We have a brand new game mode, which is Invasions. So Team Rocket is going to be able to invade Pokestops, and you have to defeat them. And at the end of the invasion, you're going to get a Shadow Pokemon, and then you can purify the Pokemon with Candy and Stardust. A lot to look forward to in Pokemon Go. My theory is, we're, well, excuse me, my theory is that we will see it during the Mudkip Community Day, but that is to be seen. But that's everything we kind of know about. Shadow Pokemon, but a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Um, just to take another look just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm guessing that if you purify a Pokemon, it will either learn Frustration, it, it may learn Frustration and Return, and you can teach it Synchronize with a, maybe a TM, or by adding a third move to it. So, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to shake out, but we do know that this is in the game's code, there's a lot of data behind it, and we're kind of just breaking down what exactly this is going to be, but we'll know soon enough. So that's the news, and let's keep things rolling. Psychic type, which I had expected it was going to be. Did you, think this, did you think it's going to be a steel type? No. I remember Mewtwo. For those who don't know, the reason for the armor is in the original movie, Giovanni imprisons. 
confused with armor because he's afraid of his power. So that's why he's got the armor, and that's why he doesn't have. But the funny thing is, if you look at his attack, Confusion, Rock Slide, Earthquake, he plays out like Mega Mewtwo X if you play those games. So he's basically going to be a fighting Pokemon with a defender, but the problem is this. He's basically a crappier version of Lugia, and since people don't use Lugia, he's gone. Oh, there's my, there's my. 1821 is the perfect, so. Well, yeah, we're going to talk about Mewtwo's stats. See ya. We're going to talk about um, Mewtwo's stats a little later on. Mewtwo's stats are, armored Mewtwo stats, by the way, are different than regular Mewtwo stats. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, we're, we got, we're in the red, so it's not going to take too much longer to um, take this out. People are walking in and out of this building. This is a melon center, so. Um, this is one of the worst buildings when it comes to raids just because of the GPS drift and all that kind of stuff like that. Um, you two down. Um, also, the catch rate is different as well. So, 2.2% 2 catch rate. Uh, 7 golden res, 1 charge TM, 3 hammer potion, 6 rare candies, 1 fast TM, 1000 dust, 11 balls. I wish I got more balls for that. But we'll make do with what we got. 17.44. Here. I'm, I'm, oh, don't need it. I caught it. <laughs> uh, second ball. All right, so no Pokedex screen, but our first armored Mewtwo. Uh, Wonder HP defense. Wow, it's really good. 1774. Not bad. All right, we got one, maybe two more. So keep it locked. Ah, oh, well, speak of the devil, he's right here. But um, what Bobby was alluding to in the previous raid was Mewtwo stats. So I didn't take a look at Mewtwo stats until later on, but unfortunately, the stats for armored Mewtwo compared to regular have been nerfed, especially attack. Attack takes the worst hit. Um, attack falls by over 100 points, so it goes from 300 to 182 attack. Why don't you show them, Julian? Well, that's where I do my, that's where my magic comes in. They'll, oh, they'll yeah. see, they'll see it. But um, defense goes up to 278 from 182 and stamina stays the same. So I take it as a disappointment, but some of you guys can look at it as, hey, this is a different Mewtwo, so it has different stats. To me, it doesn't have to have different stats. You can keep the stats as is since it is Mewtwo, but, um, you know, Niantic decided to kind of nerf Mewtwo, so I, I mean, it's still solid, like, it's still okay, but I would much rather have normal Mewtwo stats. I don't think the armored Mewtwo... I Mewtwo's agree. <laughs> Every, I think everyone agrees with me when I say... Probably could have kept the stats as is, but it is a different Mewtwo, so it's that's fair. It is what it is, but yep, with armored Mewtwo is going to have 182 attack, 278 defense, and 214 stamina. So it's it's a defensive Mewtwo, basically. But um, keep that in mind when you're taking on these armored Mewtwo's. It's I don't think it's as good as regular Mewtwo, but I get it's a different Mewtwo. I mean, it is, but kind of isn't. I don't know. They they shouldn't have messed with the stats, but. Let's carry on. Ah, round two of this. Oh, uh, here's the glitch. Oh, we did this again. Ah, uh, so the, it took the glitch I was talking about earlier, that's back, so that's it took away fun. I'm um, taking out this know, second right? Mewtwo. We should be able to hit one more um, if there are people that are still there. They might be there, but we'll we'll check that out when that situation comes. And um, yeah, Nasik needs to fix this. Have you been having trouble with this glitch? So the go glitch? The name of the gym display and the uh, the buttons yeah, for the when gym. You, like leave the gym when you're already in it. So like if you're in the lobby and you leave the app and you go back in, it stays up. Oh. That's, that's where that's it comes I thought you were talking about one of my favorite glitches, which is it takes you like five seconds to get into the battle even though you're right there, which is just amazingly hilarious. Like, and then it stays up on the catch screen. Yeah. yeah. It'll st you have to reset. I had to reset the app to get back into it. So, you know, we talked about this this morning, so hopefully some Niantic representative sees this video, and I'm pretty sure Niantic knows what's going on, but, you know, you're witnessing this firsthand. I mean, I'm not going to leave the raid and then just come back just for the sake of um, aesthetics or what have you. Uh, we got the Mewtwo in the deep red, and we should be able to get this down. Now, I doubt this Mewtwo is going to be better than the one we just caught. Um, I think we got like a 96 last time. But... I'm still going to use this Mewtwo. I mean, I, I am still excited about this Mewtwo, even though, ooh, 1768, so it's slightly worse. 
Uh, I didn't get any. Okay, I got three rare candies. I want. I need more than that. Hmm. All right, so we missed that one. So good thing we caught the better Mewtwo in the last raid because we missed this one. So we are one for two. Unfortunately, now I got to get rid of this glitch because I don't want. Ugh. Okay, so we're working with 1787 for the last one. We get 10 balls to work with. I missed one of the throws, so. Wish me luck. Where'd they go? John. Oh, that was close, man. That was a battle. All right, so two out of three for Mewtwo's today. So, not horrible. We've got a Wonder, HP exceeds. So, not too bad. Didn't do too bad today. So, so finally, as we've gotten our two out of three Mewtwo's, the raid bosses have changed once again with the alignment of Mewtwo being the level five raid boss. So, I'm taking a quick look at the new raid bosses. I saw Gengar in there as level four. I saw them peek in there. Actually, no, Gengar is a tier three, excuse me. Um, so the new raid bosses are gonna be Nidoran, Horsey, Shuppet, Duskull, Shinx, and Drifloon is back in raids now, which is amazing. Um, tier two is Alolan Executor, so could get a shiny, I think. Um, Mischievous, Pineco, Sneasel, and Mawile. Tier three is gonna be Alolan Raichu, Machamp, Gengar, Scyther, and Sharpedo. And tier four is gonna be Alolan Marowak, Houndoom, Tyranitar, Shiftry, and Absol, and Armored Mewtwo being the level five, and Deoxys being the EX raid boss. All right, um, that's it. That's gonna do it for this episode. Don't forget to drop a like if it's a subscribe if you are new, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.